Welcome, Baronies and Pega Sisters. This is Cass, and this is Diana. And today we are going to be making our very own customized pony. Now, before I go in, I'd like to give a shout out to Tiffany Bliss, who actually inspired us to do this. Uh, she has her own uh, channel of custom ponies, which is where we got uh, where got like the tutorial from. So uh, I will leave the channel to her in my description in my yeah in the description because I'm not a jerk like that. In this first episode, we will see if her uh, um if we can imitate her custom pony. So she seems to be doing a lot of a lot on Disney. Mm -hmm. Our channel is going to be focusing on Monster High. All right, so this is going to be fun and exciting because we get to turn Monster High dolls into ponies. <laughs> now, first <laughs> victim. Uh, did I say victim? Yes, you did. I meant client is Claudine Wolf. Oh, I can't wait to see why it looked like he has a pony. I fell down. <laughs> okay, so. All right, so first step, we gotta use nail polish remover to remove the eyes and the cutie mark. Now the main reason is the paint is glossy, which means it will not accept paint too well. Paint will just like wash over it. And the black may seep through no matter what you do. So. All right. So, dab a little bit on the cloth. Boom. And then, you gotta pour it into, or wipe it on her eyes so she becomes blind. Help me! Why are you doing this? It burns! Yeah, Daddy, that's what I'm doing. See, Daddy? Uh, it's not so much, though. But that's... That's because I'm trying to do this cheap. But I didn't put a lot on there. Okay, put a lot on Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> And now she's a blank flank. Yay! And she will she has And now we have a slender pony. So, the next step is we need to get her hair as fluffy and fabulous as Claudine's hair. Now, I bet you you're expecting me to have some massive trick to do this. I don't. So we're just going to have to play it by ear. Find where I put the freaking comb and try our best to fluff up this hair. You got to take the ponytail out. No, the, 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 the ponytail thing is out. Oh, look at that. That is so beautiful. Isn't look that? at that. That is actually like whole hair, so it didn't need to be down, right? And I, How did you do this? <laughs> it's it's random. I'm seriously have no method. I'm just. <laughs> this is so cool, Daddy. I didn't know you could do this. <laughs> what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? I guess it's because I suck at combing dolls' hairs. I don't know. All right, let's do it with the tail. <gasps> this is so cool! 
Hasbro. Hasbro? It's the people that make the ponies. Your combs suck. They suck so much. That is perfect, right, Daddy? <laughs> yes! They suck so much that it's perfect. <laughs> First, we should do the brown for the hair. Now we're using Paper Castell um, artist pens. Now, I am unsure how well this will work. But take the pony's hair, Diana, and just rub the marker through her hair. Okay. The reason why we're doing this first is so that uh, if you accidentally paint the pony's hair, or the pony's skin, we can just color over it. If you're worried about getting your hands messy, uh, putting paper between your hand and the marker will work. Alright, now, now that we got the brown done, though some pink is still pinking through, so, but it'll be fine. So, in order to get her hair to look like Claudine's, there's some purple in the front, a little bit on top. So, Diane, hmm? do the front part here. Now, it is it is hard to see on my camera, a little bit, but we got some purple. In hindsight, we might have been a good idea to leave some uh, hair uncolored and brown, but it'll be fine. Now that we've got the hair done, in Tiffany Bliss's uh, episode of Draculaura, she actually sewed together a dress that resembled her dress. We are doing the clay. For her dress! 
We're using air dry clay for this. <laughs> um, obviously, putting a plastic pony in the uh, oven would not really work out too well. What? Melt. And then we're using a cup of water to get our fingers wet so we can easily mold the uh, clay. Can't easily mold plaster. All right. So, to emulate the mirror that you do not see, we add just a little bit of clay to the already pointed here. And this hair is going to get annoying to work with with the clay. And Claudine's ears are pointed back slightly. Okay, so uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'd know that, or previous art videos, you'd know that my symmetry sucks. But those ears look pretty much similar. I'm gonna do that other now. For majority of her outfit, we will be caught off painting it. But for like the details, like her uh, vest, we will be doing it in clay. Yay! Alright, so for her trademark fuzzy part of her dress. Alright, so. That's kind of weird, wasn't it? We would make little snakes. All right. I just got to go under this way. I need a very small amount of clay to go on the back part. Now to get her fuzzy texture, I'm going to take this it's a towel with wet with water. And we're going to press it she looks fuzzy, Daddy. into the clay. Yeah, for the most part. Hey, it looks fuzzy. It looks fuzzy enough. It's, the clay is possibly looking a little, uh, it's discolored, but that's fine because we're going to paint over it soon. Now, the fun part, doing her dress. <laughs> now, she has a very simple dress.
and we are not going to try to have the uh, dress go underneath the pony. And now, I am going to make her a little bracelet. Kilter. Okay. So there is her dress. Yes. All right. Now, as you can see, some of her hair turned a little purplish. So. These pens, not that good for the hair. Next step is to paint. Yay. So we're getting brown for her skin. Okay. No, stop it. Stop being racist. Stop it, she's a werewolf. Got it. Wow, that was racist of me, I'm sorry. Now this is going to take several coats, or just a couple because brown is a pr pretty dark color. Now because we decided to keep the hair on, you gotta be extra careful. We're getting a little paint on that, it is not going to harm anything. And because we're going to paint some of the jacket on, directly onto the pony, we're only going to make a little oval for the neckline. Now remember, in order to go over it with another coat, you have to wait till it dries. And now we paint the legs.
Okay, so the reason why you don't want to paint the bottoms is because they're going to stick to the table while you let them dry. Besides, no one is going to see the bottoms unless you pick up and show them the feet. It's like, look, look at the feet. No. Alright, now for the vest, we're going to paint the bottom coat of green. And don't worry if you get green on the parts you already painted because we can just paint that over. To get the stripes on her dress or vest, I'm gonna have to take black and carefully paint the lines across her vest. I am going to do two lines because of the small area I have to work in. Action. Alright, so we're going to be painting the fluff part of her dress black. Sometimes black doesn't really show, doesn't really go see through that when it, you're painting over colors. Because it's black, the darkest color. That's why it's not in the rainbow. <laughs> because it will take over the whole, the whole rainbow. I want to add at this point, if you notice inconsistencies on like the camera and whatnot, you would be correct. Nice uh, uh, spotting. Now, I want to point out, you want to avoid using oil. It takes a while to dry. However, because I didn't foresee that I'd be using purple, I forgot to buy new purple uh, paint. So oil is going to have to do. You'd want. It's going to be on the very bottom of the green and it's going to be a very thin line. So now, for the shoes, I'm going to paint a little bit around the base. I've been finding that with these paints, I've been having to do less coats. In fact, this one is going over the brown just nicely. Since it's a pony, they have four legs, not two legs and two arms. That's how I feel.
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to imitate the straps. It's going to be so fun, I bet. So we got to make the back a little higher. Alright, now we're going to paint the bangle the same color as the shoes. Mainly because it is the same color as the shoes. Since it's gold and we don't have gold, it will just be yellow. We might paint it over with a, uh, uh, hey, if we, if we find, like, uh, glass or spot, uh, glitter yellow, we can paint it over with that later. Now, we're going to paint the dress. Now, because we're using oil, it is going to look slightly different. And it's going to take a long time for it to dry, and we're going to have to go over it with another coat. Yeah, and you know why. It doesn't really... Which is why you should just use acrylic or all-purpose paint. Everyone, the dress is so wet, so if you use oil, just an apple, it might, you have to do it last, because I, because you might want to do it in night time. We're going to do the eyes. And it's actually going to be very fun. <laughs> so we need to do an oval shape eye. Alright, we're going to paint the iris orange, mainly because we don't have that shade of orange brown. We don't have light brown, but we're trying to start. Now, we do a little circle. I don't think that's how she did it. 
You know what? I'm doing my own way. By the way, no one judge us. We are doing it all. <laughs> Don't judge us. If you do. Don't judge us, but I will accept uh, structured criti uh, criticism. Now, of course, doing even smaller little tiny circles for the pupils. And we're going to do the little white dots. Hand-eye coordination. Can I do it? Okay, now for the purple eyeshadow, we're instead going to use the marker because screw that paint. Hey, uh -huh. I think it's working well too. Now, for the eyelashes. And now, gotta do the eyebrows. Leave in the comments what you think. It's probably bad. And now I'm going to do the mouth. I'm doing red because we don't have... Pink. Yeah, we don't have pink. It's another one I have to go and get. And it actually looks so like it's the same thing. No, this is probably not going to be even either. I am an artist, I swear. I'm just hoping I do not mess up this beautiful lipstick job with trying to put the teeth in. Now I'm going to add an extra set of teeth to make it to prevent from looking like a vampire. We are going to be making those interesting print on her dress. And we're going to do this by making random little U shapes. Gotta make it all over the dress. Now the size and the shape doesn't matter as long as it looks like you little U's. I am going to be doing cutie mark on these guys. For her we're going to be doing a little pattern. Little being the key word. In fact, it almost barely looks like a shirt. Hold on. Haha. Probably could barely see it, but I was able to put little tiny uh, laces throughout the, uh, the pattern. And now we're going to make a little tiny black for the red. And then a little bit of white for the needle. Now I know it doesn't look exactly like a pattern in like sewing needle and thread, but it will do! Okay. And for the final touches, I'm gonna re-fluff up her hair. Cause some reason it got unfluffed up like that. Yeah, just, um, this is good as we're going to get it now. Okay, two. Oh, fine. There's not too much more we can do. There you go, Daddy. And we're done. So. Oh, actually, we all really done the movie. So, what'd you guys think? Uh, leave comments. Let us know. Did we do a good job? Did you hate it? 
Do you, does your tongue feel funny when you drink soda? And if you if you actually did enjoy this, please give us a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. I plan on doing more. I at least want to get the main six done. You know, like the main Monster High uh, characters. Hope Yes. Uh, I do have a question. Should I do Draculaura as a winged pony? Or, or Pegasus? Or should I just do a normal pony? Or Earth pony? Or do you want us to do it as an alicorn? Or both? We're not doing alicorn for Draculaura. Of course we're not. If you've got any suggestions, uh, state so in the comments, obviously. And until next time, stay white and nerdy. Bye bye! Just edit, edit it so that um, that's a uh, overlaid over the uh, coloring of the uh, pony, so that you don't sound like a chipmunk when you say it, because <laughs> you already sound like a chipmunk as it is. Sometimes a dolphin <laughs> or a dinosaur. Wow, that was a <laughs> that was a carnivore roar right there. That was totally a carnivore roar. In fact, maybe Velociraptor. I broke Diana. <laughs>